Hi, my name is Merritt. I'm a Bellarmine nursing student. I'm going to be preparing medications for George Jackson today. So the first thing I'm going to do is hand hygiene. And I'm going to be... Uh, let me go ahead and compare what I've got on the MAR here. George Jackson, 122448, and his medical record number with what I have in the medicine drawer. George Jackson, uh, 122448, and the right medical record number. So that checks out. So the very first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and do one medication at a time. I'm going to pull out his insulin, which is regular. And because his weight was, uh, or I'm sorry, his um, his blood glucose was te checked today, and it was 323. So if I look on here, open this up, on the sliding scale here, that puts him at eight units of insulin. So I'm gonna go ahead and get regular insulin out. Get an alcohol white. Looks like the package is still intact. For 15 seconds, I'm gonna go around the top here, and then I'm gonna let that dry for a while. Put that away, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get the correct syringe. So the syringe I'm going to use is a universal insulin syringe. It's got an orange cap on it. Uh, so that's how everybody knows that it's insulin. So I'm going to pull that out. And since it's eight units, I want to pull back eight units of air. Okay. And then now that this is dry, Medication. Insert the like needle, push the air in, and draw out. So I know Mr. Jackson weighs about 102 kilograms. Eight units. Now grab a three milliliter syringe. Okay. So we'll scoop that. Medication. Okay, and now I'm going to have another nurse, because this is a high um, a high alert medication insulin, I'm going to have another nurse check this. So, would you mind checking this for me? Yes, of course. And tell uh, me how much is in there. What's the patient's blood glucose level? 323. 323. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so 323 is going to be 8 in. units. And I have eight units right there. Okay. All right. Thank and you. And then with the right vial. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So even though you don't have to put a label on insulin, I'm going to go ahead and do that um, anyway. Because of the orange cap, you wouldn't normally have to put one on. But just in case there's other insulin laying around, I'm going to go ahead and put this label on. And so just to show the label, it's going to have his name, George Jackson. The medication is insulin, 8 units. Subcutaneous is the route. And 0700 is the time. So that checks out with my MAR. I'm going to set that over to the side. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is the Hep B vaccine. So, uh, Hep B vaccine is going to be one milliliter, and that's, uh, I put that out of here. Okay, so here's the Hep B vaccine, if you look at that with the camera. So, Hep B surface antigen uh, vaccine. So I'm going to go ahead and show, I chose, based on his weight of 102 kilograms, I chose a one inch, 23 gauge needle. So, set that here. And because it's a one milliliter um, dose, I've got a three milliliter syringe. So, being careful, I'm gonna open these. Uh, let me go ahead and wipe that off real quick. And let that dry while I prepare these. So I'll be wiping this off for 15 seconds. Let it dry. Okay, so, being careful, when I'm taking these out, not to touch the end opposite the plunger, or on this one, not to touch the uh, the end that this will be screwing into. I'm going to touch that with my hands. All right, so those together. So, since it's one milliliter, I'm going to go ahead and draw back one milliliter of air. I'm going to put that into the Hep B surface antigen vaccine. Inject the air and make sure all the air is out. And now I'm going to pull back until I get one milliliter. What's his name? 
again? Okay. So there's one milliliter. Look to make sure all any bubbles are out. A little one in there's not enough to make a difference, so it looks okay. Scoop. The lid. Put it off on the side. And I have another label for this one. I do need to label this one always, and this is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the five rights again. And so that's George Jackson, hepatitis B vaccine. That's what I show here at the top. One milliliter intramuscularly, 0700 once. Okay. So that checks out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw these three PO minutes. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and get protonics, which is pantoprazole sodium. 40 milligrams is his dose that he needs. So I've got that 40 milligrams of protonics. The case is intact, it hasn't been uh, take, opened or taken out ever. And the expiration date, I would peel back here and make sure that that is also intact. So that one is good. The other one is furosemide, which is also 40 milligrams. So I'm going to look in here. Here's furosemide. I'll check to make sure the expiration date is, is still valid, still good. It's 40 milligrams, which is his dose, so I don't need to do anything with that. And its case is still intact. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my second check. And so, um, once again, going over his insulin, because it was 320, his blue blood glucose was 323, um, that puts him at 8 units. That's what I drew out. Looking at here, I have 8 units drawn. And um, so that checks out. And then on here, it's for George Jackson. It's insulin, 8 units. Sub Q is the route. And uh, 0700 is the time. So that checks out with my MAR. Go ahead and close out of that. I'm going to check uh, his other one is the want to be the F hepatitis B service antigen vaccine, George Jackson, Hep B vaccine. Click on this, one milliliter is the dose. It'll be intramuscular, 0700 once. And it looks like I've got it at one milliliter, which is what it calls for here, so that's correct. And for his last one, the PO meds, uh, protonics, make sure that's in here. It's 40 milligrams, which is here. And I'll do the five checks as well for this. And furosemide is the other one. So I would do one at a time. So furosemide is the other one. 40 milligrams. Furosemide is intact. And so that is the preparation for George Jackson's meds. And I will uh, do my third check as I administer the medications.